A very big welcome to you, my dear Gemini. The sun is now in Libra, giving the light to the moon, which is in your sign. And we're going to the right, and so the sixth major arcana, and here then the eleventh major arcana is giving you a date. We have here the 6th of November or the 11th of July. So observe which one is speaking to you. We see here, of course, that Libra is all about justice and you are also all about the duality because justice is seeing the black and white. Here we see masculine and feminine. And we recognize that all the major arcanas, the soul is letting you know it's all a game of duality. So wake up and do not be controlled by duality. Go above, go into the triangle, right? Go up here into the center. And so it's really beautiful to recognize that the tarot has this deep, deep message of you are special and you can create within you this harmony. Now we see here in the Lightseer Tarot a six or a nine, right? When we turn it, it's like when we kind of play with it, we see that she incorporated here the number six, right? And so I find it always very interesting how these new decks that come out are playing with the energies of the cards. Now we see here that the sun is actually in Libra and the sun is your personality and so the sun in Libra you're feeling that here you want to shine justice, uh, a rightness to the world, right? Because the sun is the 19th in the major arcanas and you see how she's actually shining and connecting with the sun on a very deep level. Now, because Libra is ruled by Venus, we also feel that Venus love and beauty is talking here to you and Venus in the Tarot is the Empress. And so just feel that, understand that and notice that. Now the moon in your sign or when we look at the moon we see your constellation behind it is all about your subconscious and your feelings and within that we see that of course Libra is giving you the light and so here we see the moon you are allowed to now to dive deep and recognize how much more can you love yourself and let go of old stories that have controlled you until now, right? Now you are ruled by Mercury and so Mercury is in the Tarot, the magician and the magician is creating the magic and we also understand that here is the consciousness and the language he's using and you see he's like using the language of energy. The universe doesn't speak a language, the universe is actually responding to vibration, to the movement that your thought is creating, right? Through the vibration, the thought is coming out of you. And so you better observe how you think. Now this just today, sun and moon, right? And the story goes that we learn to work with this. We learn to see that, oh, the sun in Libra is bringing me all of the energies also of the Empress. And the moon in Gemini is bringing me also the magic, right? Mercury. And so you are realizing more and more how all of this is interconnected. As a court card, you are the Knight of Swords. Now, if your birthday is between May 10th and June 9th, then this is your court card. But if your birthday is before or after, then you are a mix. You're not like the pure, right, Gemini soul and Gemini court card. When we calculate this together, we get the sixth and the third zodiac sign, a nine, and the nine is the completion. Now, as a third zodiac sign, you're connected with the 
third house of communication and interaction. And you love to interact, you love to communicate, you love to speak. You're also an entertainer. And Gemini is the communication, right? And so just really understand that. So the nine is coming here to you, right? As a message, when you combine the soul and the human aspect, then you come into the completion. And it's a really beautiful way of letting you know you can really arrive at yourself. So watch, right, the date if you have before or after. They're all listed down below. And remember, I also have listed there all the decks that I'm using today. We are going to use only two stations plus, of course, you as a court card. And that is the magician and you the lovers right because i decided to make the readings a little shorter because i want to paint again and sometimes the readings got really long and i'm editing because sometimes i just make mistakes and i don't want that inside and so it just was kind of sometimes a little bit too much because i also do german readings and you can hear that in my accent. Now back to the last reading, we had Virgo's sun giving Gemini moon the light. The game of life is played with black and white squares go beyond. And so it's interesting because here we had the emperor and the emperor is here the chess player. What's really interesting with justice, you again get here the black and white tiles and it's the game of life called duality and polarity and you had back then the microis i was using the star seeds cards to actually integrate them because they wanted to be integrated and that was the magician right and it's really powerful how i was able to actually include these cards and no one was bringing me a weird vibe over that, right? And so I'm really glad. So go beyond. Go beyond black and white squares, right? And see that you are learning. You're learning to understand that life is always bringing us the right amount so that we can grow. Amount of positive and negative, right? And so we grow through that. And so I watch through the front since i have now all the cards in the front if there is a reoccurring message and there is and so we can begin the reading right and start here with the knight of swords and the knight of swords is getting the justice card and so now you see actually the justice card here in the Libra deck, right, that I dedicated for Libra, which is the Golden Dawn Tarot. And you see now Libra here. And so Libra is saying something quite profound through the sun that's hitting the moon and the moon in your sign, right? So you understand here that the 11 is coming here again. And the 11 and the 3 could be a date, the 3rd of November or the 11th of March, right? And so observe again what date is speaking here to you. And Libra is talking. Now, each time when there's a major arcana coming up, I use the deck of that major arcana because each of the major arcanas has their own deck. And I want to see what is Libra wanting to tell you. And the Two of Cups is coming. And the Two of Cups is Venus in Cancer. There is a love that you figure out the harmony in it, right? Because this is also two and this is also two. There are two ones and now it's like the two, right? But the two can also be two lines. And so observe and watch, right? And so here you are maybe in love, right? And you may be in love with a Libra. This is up to you. You can also just see, is this love making you feel good? Is this really where Venus is coming in, right? Because Libra is ruled by Venus and Venus is the Empress. Are you feeling in this love like an Empress? 
And so we can calculate the 3 and the 2 together. We get the 5. So this is the 5th of November or the 11th of May. The date has changed. And just observe, right? And always watch. So see here that the Two of Cups is coming and it's almost Libra is saying, yeah, observe this love. If it makes you feel good, continue. If it doesn't make you feel good, stop it. So then what I wanted to see through the mother piece, because they're round and I cannot control them, comes here the king of wands. And the king of wands came last time up as well on the position of Mercury, right? And so now the king of wands is facing down. And back then the king of wands was facing to the right. And to the right, the king of wands was letting you know I am here, I am watching, I am observing, and now the king of wands reverse, something has happened, right? And sometimes in the reverse, we understand that it's not a negative energy, it's just that the king that is standing here, very proud of this shaman, right? Is saying his problems may feel overwhelming and it's hard to see solutions. Perhaps he's withholding and doesn't want to figure out solutions or maybe afraid to try anything. And so this could be uh, also that here a king of wands or this shaman, this Leo, is creating here a situations where you really need to look, is this making me feel good, right? The uh, two of Cups, maybe you're in love with the Leo, maybe you're in love with the Libra. You know, right? And I just give you the possibility to see all of it. Now, if, if we calculate the two and the fifth zodiac sign together, we get a seven. The seven is the emotional intelligence that we need to understand that we need to listen to a higher consciousness. The seven and the three is the ten. And so the date has changed, right? the 10th of November or the 11th of October. Watch and observe and see how everything has changed just by adding one more card here to this moment, right? Then we are going to look at the magician and the magician is bringing you the serpent. And the serpent is sexuality, right? And yet the shaman of wants is sexuality, is playful, right? And there is something that is actually coming to you in the 46. And the 46, we have the four, the emperor, and the six, you, the lovers, right? So you feel that this relationship somehow is talking to you, is inspiring you and the one and the four is the five. Then we get the 56. And the 56 calculated together, we get an 11. And the 11 is again a portal that is telling you, observe and watch how you work with your energy, how you work with your sexuality, because you see two snakes, right? And one head is facing up and one head is facing down. And so you understand now that here is an energy, there is a sexual energy that is maybe not flowing the way you think it's maybe not making you feel that great right but the 11 is here to tell you to watch and to listen to the signs what is your deck saying the two of wands is coming up and this is very interesting because that's mars in aries and the two of cups is venus in cancer and it's total opposite but is a 22 and the 22 is, of course, the fool. And the fool is Uranus. And Uranus is the rebel. And so here comes the emotional aspect of this relationship and the action aspect of this relationship, the 22, right? And you see that here is something talking and letting you know Mars in Aries and Venus in Cancer. It's like, are you ready? for this relationship, even though there is something off, right? But we don't know if that's the person. It could also be Libra that's the person, 
or in general it could be someone else right don't get too stuck with when the court card or a major arcana is coming up because the major arcana is more the soul aspect that's talking but here with the court card there is a person that is coming up and you need to look at it and so something is saying i want to go out there i don't want this for some reason you're like i want to i want to go i want to plan my next travel destination i want to have fun i want to go yes i am in love but somehow maybe i want to do my own thing or you are actually connecting and here is the 22 here with the 46 with the 10 inside and of course the 11 so there's an 11 so there's a 22 framing the 11 see that it's really beautiful right and so you see the 11 and the 22 are major moments in your life that are speaking to you because the 11 very clearly is always the inner teacher the 22 is now i'm getting creative with my sexual energy and maybe this person doesn't really want to do that so what is coming from the mother piece tarot the son of wands now now we're talking this is a sagittarius he's pointing slightly to here mars in aries sagittarius is a knight like you he's a knight of wands and he's dancing here and so maybe you feel more connected here to the sagittarius and you're like yes now what's interesting is sagittarius is your opposite sign right and sagittarius is giving you the light for your full moon that's when you go and have your full moon and reverse you give the light to sagittarius full moon so i think what's happening here it's more like sagittarius is helping you to go out there and be like yes i want to have adventure i want to have a, a, a life that is really exciting and i don't think this is the person that is actually really making you feel like an empress right that you are feeling you know that's not really what you want anymore you want adventure you want to go out and this sagittarius is ready to do that and so here when we calculate all of this together we get the 46 the 10 the 10 and the ninth zodiac sign is the 19 and the 19 plus the 2 is the 21 that's the world you want to be in the world you want to go out into the world you want to have fun you want to travel you want to see the world this is exciting right and so then the 21 and the one is the 22 here we are the 22 again you are going out there and you want to experience this world and you want to right be a rebel and be the rebel because it's here the 22 uranus is bringing you out there into this world then we look at the lovers and the lovers is bringing you the high priestess and so the high priestess is the two and the two and the six is the eight so you see that you're coming into a stream of consciousness a stream of consciousness that um is letting you know that you are ready you're ready to be in a higher consciousness you're ready to feel the self-love right and yeah the two of cups can also be a self-love right so you have a two two again a 22 it's really beautiful you have actually three times the two right and three times the two is really you know what you want you are empowering yourself with the two with the duality and we're gonna look into what the high priestess is wanting to tell you and you get the two of cups one more time look at that so the two of cups i'm just going to put you away is coming twice so here we have four times the two so there is a love there is someone that you're in love with but i think it's the sagittarius and it's not the leo and you are recognizing four times the two is like that's the heart in your heart you understand now that you are finding a deeper love also a spiritual love that is bringing you forward that is making you happy that is making you excited I'm just gonna put this here because this was first right and so you see the two of cups the two of wands the high priestess and again the two of cups i mean four times the two it's like two 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 
I mean, it's really powerful, right? So the heart is in there, in this adventure, in this love, in this also spiritual understanding of what this relationship is bringing to you, right? And so this is what the High Priestess is telling you. Feel this love. Feel Venus in Cancer inspiring you, right? Creating this beautiful aspect of you. Then what is, of course, Libra bringing here again? And you get the chariot. Look at that. So now the chariot is coming towards the high priestess, right? And the chariot is Cancer. Remember, Venus in Cancer, right? Venus in Cancer. So you are really having here an amazing relationship that is bringing you the emotional intelligence that you need, right? So the seven and the two is a nine, and the nine and the six is the 15. And in that 15, you find that Capricorn is making this a really interesting relationship, is making the spiritual path like push you forward, but he's going to the left. But remember, when a card goes to the left, you look at it, it goes to the left. If you become it, it goes to the right, right? So you have a circle in there and take that circle, right? Go deep within, but then also bring this emotional intelligence, this spiritual success out there, this spiritual success that's talking to you. And the 15 becomes the six again. So you are here. Then, of course, I wanted to see what is uh, the chariot bringing because it's a major arcana and the empress is coming up. So you do feel like an empress when you take care of yourself, when you do not allow a man to do everything for you. That's why here the shaman is reverse, right? And here even the Sagittarius, yes, he's dancing, he's having fun, but you are taking care of yourself. You are the one that is going and saying, I am the Empress, I am understanding Venus through Libra is hitting me. Libra has come up and Libra is ruled by Venus and Venus is coming up, right? And so when Venus comes, it's really saying, well, the emotional intelligence is bringing you into a very beautiful state of consciousness because the seven and the three is a 10. And the 10 was here through the 46. And the 46 is the emperor and you, the lovers, right? And so it's so beautiful, this reading. I could go in so many directions, but I have to keep myself uh, really in the, in the stream of consciousness that is coming through me, right? I feel this. And so the 10 and the 2 is the 12. That's the hanged man. And the hanged man is always like, dive in, right? Dive in. Moon is letting you know. Moon in Gemini is letting you know you can dive in, you can let yourself fall because you then really feel like an empress and become the three when we calculate it together. The three and the six is the nine. The completion is here. And that nine is the hermit. That nine is like, I do feel really that I've done the work to be this high priestess and the high priestess accepts the empress now the two and the three is the five right and the five is then the messenger the hierophant the hierophant is the high priest she's the high priestess now what is coming from the mother piece tarot the six of wands to the right and the six of wands came last time as well up so there's two cards that are speaking a second time to you you had the king of wands reverse so that's finished that's done and you have the six of wands which is jupiter in leo and so you have gotten away jupiter in leo he's pointing at the empress you are creating the empress you do not want to be uh, blocked by no one and so here the six plus the nine that was left here is again the 15. remember that you are making yourself happy, right? But also you can be successful in all of this and see, of course, that you then 
up here, right? The 15 again becomes the six. You are coming up here. You need to take care of yourself. That's the message, right? The message is, yes, I am in love. I have all this beautiful energy. I have someone that really loves me. I have someone that is taking care of me, right? And yes, maybe sometimes he's a little off, a little off, right? But I do have a great sexual energy with this person. I have adventure with this person. And also sometimes he's dancing, but he's really the one that I feel is good for you, right? He is the one that is opposite of you. And yes, sometimes it can mean this is difficult. It's challenging, but you learn the most from it. And so here you have then you coming up, right? And the six of wands is saying, well, now six wands, I'm just going to put this down, six wands and two wands are eight wands. And eight wands is saying, well, you understand very clearly that the eight is the infinite. You have four cups, right? And that's then the understanding that you want to feel safe, right? Like an emperor in the four. And, you know, the four or the 22, right? We can also see it like a 22, right? Because it is a 22, but it's also then um, a four, four cups bringing you into a deeper level of here I am. I want to experience what I experience. And you see her, she's on this wheel and it's just kind of like you had this idea and now it's kind of like going out there and the eight is pushing you out there and you see that the message is clear right that you are really loving it what's happening loving that you have here the high priestess and the chariot right and that's like they really are really emotionally connected with the moon and so there is something very highly um unusual coming to you and you are really feeling it and you are really noticing it right and you are really like okay i get it i have to become an empress right that's what the chariot is bringing to you and as such you take action right you're going out there and you're seeing that she is pushing you into jupiter of leo and you are understanding that leo even though leo is off a little bit it's the fun have fun and enjoy what you are enjoying right now so i hope i see you in the next reading that's when we get the sun in uh, scorpio and scorpio of course is the transformation so we didn't have the 13 right but of course i could always uh, create a 13 here the 46 the 10 and the 3 that's then the 13 the transformation the sexual transformation for you to be an empress for you to really enjoy who you become and then the four is left which is the emperor right which is the four here in the serpent in the 46 so i think you already feel scorpio through that until then i thank you so much for being with me namaste